Welcome to By the Numbers. My name is Renee Smith. And I'm Michelle Fleming. And today we're going to talk about another skill called part-whole relationships. And so we talked about being able to visually recognize numbers in the past, and we also talked about the ability to know that three actually means three objects. So today we're going to use some items you probably have at home, um, cards, Take out the cards, even if you're missing some cards at home. Take them. It'll work It'll for work. this activity. It'll work. I never have a complete deck at home. I don't know where they go. but You're missing a card here and there? Yeah, missing a card there. Just a few, a card shy of a full deck or something. There you there. go. Okay. But, or you can do the paper plates, or you could use money. We're going to do paper plates because I like these nice shiny spring colors here that we've got going on. Okay, here. what am I going to do? Count out and see how many paper plates we have and just kind of lay them out so we can see One, them. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we have ten blue plates. I'm going to turn this back so we can record it. Okay. So we remember what we have. And it's getting away from me. Part, part hole. This is called part hole. And it's just the ability to know that numbers are can be made in different ways. I don't think you've got it yet. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to record that as we have, I'm going to keep a chart okay. so I know what we've done. Okay. So I'm going to keep the chart blue plates, and do we have any white plates? No, but if I turn them over, we do. Okay. We're going to use the white on the back side. Okay. So to make 10, turn them back over so you had all blue. All blue. And we're going to put down, you had 10 blue plates. And no white. And no white. Okay. Or we could write even a number, a sentence. 10 plus 0 equals 10. Okay. Okay. I want you to think of another way you can flip those plates to make another combination of 10. Well, I'm going to make it easy. I'm just going to turn it this way. Okay. One white and nine blue. Nine blue now and one white. So, what's your... Explain? Nine plus one equals 10. Nine plus one equals 10. Okay. Okay. Flip some more. See what else you can make. What's another combination? Well, I like the number five. So, five blue. No, the six blue, sorry. I can't count. Six blue. Six blue and four white. Okay, so make another way. Okay, now five and five. Okay, five plus five. So just the ability to know that the number 10 can be made in a lot of different ways is a skill that will help them when they start working. We talk about being able to work flexibly with numbers right. and having that number sense. So we can do small numbers like 10. And just having kids look at different ways to make the number 10 will help them start thinking flexibly. Because sometimes kids only see this way. Yeah, they like 5 plus 5 they because like, we like doubles. Yeah, doubles are easy for kids to memorize, mm -hmm. right? Right. So we're going to, so you can do it with paper plates. Okay. Now, you can also do it with the cards. Okay, show me what I'm going to do with cards. Okay, with cards, you're just going to take out, well, let's say we want to work on the number set of 10. Let's go up higher. Let's do 15. Okay. While you do that, I'm going to erase the board. Do, am I looking for things that will total 15? Nope, just put 15 cards. Oh, okay, one, 15 two, cards. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, now yep. I want you to turn some of them upside down. Okay, and we're so that say, I see the back of the cards? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could actually count out what's here, but I, I know that there are 12 face up and three face down. So I see 12 the face up and three face down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how you could work with bigger numbers. Okay. okay, so just any kind of objects would work. Think about like with money. With money, you could do, think of all the ways to make a dollar mm -hmm. or a hundred cents. Uh -huh. And they could use the nickels and pennies and dimes. Or if you just wanted to stay with the smaller concept, you could do heads up, heads down just to count. Right. So it just depends on how far you, with your child, you can take them to under just working with numbers, putting numbers together, taking numbers apart. It's called part whole because these are the individual parts, which we could get into fractional parts as well, right. which we're not going to go there today. But we have the different parts, but they all work together to make up the whole. Cool. And there's lots of ways we can make the whole. Cool. Could I do this with my cards if I wanted to actually find the number sentence with the 8 and the 7, made the 15? Could you do, oh, you mean use the cards to make use all the, the different ways? You sure use could. Use the numbers on the cards. That's a good idea. Uh -huh. That's what I thought we were doing first. Yeah. But I see your way, too. Except you could, if you're missing cards, it won't work so well. Well, it won't work as well with uh -uh. your missing right. decks. So, yeah. so, thank you for joining us in another episode of By the Numbers.
We'll see you again next time, and you can find out more information on My Kids Turn.